Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai Sonata. Let's say you guys have a Hyundai Sonata and you get the message on the dash that says low washer fluid. Stay with us, we'll explain how to fix that. Now, uh, most of the times it's super simple. You add, you need to add washer fluid, but if the message is still there, we'll explain what two things can cause that guys. So make sure to stay until the end. We'll share super helpful information that can save you quite a bit of money and how you can repair the problem on your own. So. Uh, uh, let's start on it now. If you guys need to buy any parts, tools, anything for your Hyundai guys, okay, we're going to share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Another thing, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can guys. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can save you even more money and provide even more videos. Now, if you have a Hyundai, you want check guys our second channel it's called electrical car repair life we're going to share so much helpful information about diagnostics engine codes and things like that there as well so definitely check it out so let me go inside that Hyundai Sonata and I want to show you guys okay when the ignition switch is on okay we're going to get a message that says low washer fluid so uh, let me go ahead and turn the ignition on we just need to wait uh, a couple of seconds okay for the dash to start and we have right here low washer fluid okay message you can see that we need to take care of so uh, now let's explain okay what can practically guys okay what can cause that okay i accidentally locked unlock the lock the car let me unlock it make sure the key doesn't stay inside perfect so now right here looking at it guys okay when you open the hood on your hyundai sonata okay you're going to see that right here we have okay the windshield washer fluid reservoir that's where you add washer fluid it says washer only okay right here washer only so you open and you add washer fluid and that light should go away but what if it doesn't guys what if it comes back or never turns off so pretty simple let's explain that now if you remove the fender liner, ours is broken, we're rebuilding this car, you will notice that this is your windshield washer fluid reservoir right here. And uh, one thing that can cause the light to come back is if the washer reservoir is uh, cracked and you leak out the washer fluid, then immediately it will turn on that you need uh, that you're low on washer fluid again. But if it doesn't leak out, you have washer fluid, but you still get that message, what else can cause that? You come underneath, guys, right here. Okay, you can see that's the washer fluid reservoir. And you have a sensor. This is the sensor that detects the level. Okay, and when it's too low, it sends uh, the dash information to turn that light on and tell you that message that you have low washer fluid. So, what can happen here? Okay, sometimes, okay, if the sensor stays dry for too long, okay, it can actually, guys, uh, send that message and uh, the other thing about it is uh, if you fill it up and you let it stay for a few days it may fix on its own but sometimes the sensors can fail or another thing check the connector make sure it's plugged in okay right here and make sure the wire is not broken loose or anything like that remove the connector reconnect it okay and make sure okay that it's clean because watch you can have quite a bit of dust dirt and if it was disconnected okay it may not contact correctly so you need to clean it reconnect it and see if that will fix the problem if it doesn't you will need to replace okay the washer fluid reservoir with the new sensors most of the times you cannot just buy a sensor itself and uh, we have a video on the channel that explains how to do that hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time